In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Zipify landing page builder Shopify app. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description and click on that. It should take you to this page here. And then from this page here, you should be able to go and click the install button. And this should go ahead and install it on your store. So go here, click the install button and you should be ready to go. So first of all, it's going to ask you for some onboarding stuff. Just press next. It's going to ask for your industry. Just put it as honestly as you can. It's going to ask for your revenue, your monthly visitors. It's going to ask how you heard about them. Uh, you can just put anything. And then it's going to ask you what you want to build first. So we can start off by just building either a landing page, product page, home page or blog, or we can go straight to the dashboard. I'm going to start off and show you how to build a product page here. So I'm going to click build your page. So once we've done that, it's going to ask you, do you want full customization or partial? I'd recommend doing full because it gives you more flexibility. So it's going to go ahead and ask you what product you want to add the, uh, you want to add it to. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here, press next. And that's going to take us to this section here, which is the recommended templates. So these different templates are going to be pretty optimized for product pages. You can have a look which ones you like. I would recommend going for something like this one, which is the proven profitable product page. And this is one that's worked well for Boom, which is quite a popular brand. So you can go ahead and click the one you want and then go ahead and press use template. So first of all, it's going to ask you to put a product page name. Just say, put your product in there or something like that. It's going to ask you to choose a group and it's going to ask you to add tags if you want to. I'm just going to press create here. OK, so here we are now inside of the builder and on the left hand side, you can hover over each of these different elements here and it will show you on the screen what it is. You can also go onto any of the elements here and hover over them. You can just click on them and that will allow you to edit it. So we can go ahead and click on this section, for example, and then on the left hand side, it will show you stuff like the layout, the alignment, the backgrounds, you can change the color, you can add images the spacing, the visibility, and the advanced settings. Also, if you click an element on here and you press this little drop down here, it will show you each of the other elements inside that. And you can keep going on the drop downs until you get to the very bottom of the, the, the bundle, I guess. And you can see all the different elements inside. Each different element is very easy to edit. You just click on it and on the left hand side, it will give you all the different options it has. And for this, I would just recommend um, just trying and just playing around with it, seeing if you get the settings you like. But I would recommend also not changing too much from the templates because they're obviously designed to work quite well. But you've got all these different settings here, like your, you know, your padding, your shadows, spacing, alignment, all of that stuff. You can also go over to something like a text box here. You can double click it and this will allow you to edit the text. So you can be like, this lamp is really cool. And you can select this here and you can format it. Stuff like strike throughs, um, all that kind of stuff. You've got your different uh, sizing and all that kind of stuff here. You've got your fonts, everything in there basically to change the text. You can even go to this bit here, which is AI, and you can use this to write some AI text for you. So you could say something like, um, write a enticing description for my bird lamp. You can select the tone of voice, and let's say persuasive, generate text, and it's going to go ahead and generate that for you. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and rewrite it, shorten it, longer, simplify. Or just go ahead and insert it like that. We can also go to the top and view it on iPad and mobile mode and just have a look what it looks like. And you can press this button here, which is preview mode. And this will preview what it actually looks like. Once you're happy with it, you can go ahead to the top and you can click on the publish button here. And you can just click publish. And that should publish it to your store. So you can go ahead and now live view it. And it should be ready to go on your store. You can see here we go. The product page is completely ready, just like that. Also, if you go up here into the settings tab, you can go to this bit that says Facebook Pixel. This will allow you to put your Facebook Pixel in and um, you can 
track your analytics and stuff through Facebook on the product page. If we go back here to the dashboard, we can go over to this bit here, which says split tests. And this will allow us to split test landing pages, um, so A-B test them. For this, you're gonna have to go ahead and subscribe to one of their paid plans. They have their free plan, which gives you basic stuff. And then they have plans all the way up to $138 a month, uh, which gives you all the features. Depending, on, Go and have a look on this, and depending on your needs, you can select which one's best for you. So back into the split test section, you can either split test landing pages or product pages. I'm just going to press continue on landing pages. And you can go ahead and select a control. And to do this, you're going to have to pick a landing page that you've created already. So, you know, have two different pages ready to go. So you can select one as the control and then you can have a variant here. And for that, you can either copy the original page and then edit it a bit, or you can choose an existing page that you've already made. Now it's going to ask you for the goal and its page value. So page value means how much the page is brought across. There's also a settings, there's also an article about it here. But you've also got conversion rate. So this is the percent of people that converted. You've got sales, the amount of sales, average order value. So it's pretty simple. The product, val uh, product revenue, so how much people are ordering per product. And then the revenue per view. I would recommend just keeping it at either conversion rate or page value, or AOV maybe, or sales, depending on what you're looking for. You can also change the distribution, depending on if you want more people to go to one page than the other. And you can basically start that, and you can just look at the data every single day, which is doing better. And then once you've done it, go over here, there's a little analytics button here, and this analytics button is going to tell you all of the results, has a lot of in-depth results you can look at. Over here we have the statistics tab, and this is going to tell you all of your statistics, you know, your revenue, conversion rate, transactions, all that stuff here. So you can look which is a which is the highest converting product pages. And this will allow you to basically keep improving on what's working and remove what's not doing good. And you've got different settings you can look at here, so you can really go in depth with your analytics. And then finally we have global. So these are basically your global styles, global sections, and global scripts. And these are things that you basically use over and over again. So, for example, your global text, you can just select heading one and it will always look like this. Or you could select body copy three, it will always look like this. And you go ahead and edit it, which means you don't have to change the font each time on every little thing. You can also do the same with your buttons, have different styled buttons, which are pretty easy to use. Um, and the same thing applies. Um, and if you go here, you can change the edit on. So you can change how it looks on desktop and mobile, and these will edit differently from each other. So make sure that you check all of them to make sure they look good on them all. And then lastly, inside of your settings, you have your general, you have section settings, image library, localization, which is forms and language and stuff. You've got your CRMs, so you can go ahead and set that up. You've got integrations, so you can integrate with tons of other apps here, such as One Click Upsell, which is another Zipify app. And you've got your subscription details here. That's basically how you use the app. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.